This is BenQ PD3420Q, their 34-inch ultra-wide screen display that is part of the Professional Designer Series. The aspect ratio for this panel is 21 to 9, and it also comes with mini picture-by-picture -picture mode that you can run this display in. One of the modes I find very interesting is the 5 to 9 picture-by-picture. -picture. I'm going to show you how to set that up on a PC and what are some of the considerations in setting it up that way. Let's find out together how we can do that. I'm Art and Art is right. Before we start, subscribe if you're new and hit on the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I upload cool new videos like this. Running a widescreen display in its native resolution can have some benefit. For instance, if you photograph a lot of panorama or do a lot of stitching, this can be a perfect display to work with that. Or the other thing, if you're doing video editing, if you shoot in anamorphic aspect ratio, or even just editing video in general, because what you can do is have a really long timeline on the bottom of your video as you're editing. This can be some of the benefits that you would get from a widescreen display like this. However, if you want to run more traditional apps or view website and do Word documents, sometimes what helps is using a Windows organizer. For example, Windows 10 come with their own organizer that you can snap the windows to one side of the screen and have the other application snap to the other side. Or BenQ also makes their own software called Display Pilot that you can do application window organizing that way. And it gives you much more flexibility in terms of just how you want the different application windows to snap on different portion of the screen. But beyond that, what you can also do is run this PD3420Q in a more traditional aspect ratio. And that is what we have alluded to earlier is the picture by picture 5 to 9. Essentially, it's going to asymmetrically split your screen into two portions. One of them is going to be a traditional 16 to 9, which is going to be the equivalent of a 2K resolution, 2560 by 1440. And the other portion will be a 5 to 9 aspect ratio, 880 by 1440. With this type of setup, what you can do is run it from a singular input source coming from one computer, or you can run this from multiple different input sources from multiple different computers. To do that though, you're going to have to use two different display cable, especially if you're running on one computer, the computer has to output from two display cables in order for you to set it up that way. So let's find out how we can do that. I want to mention one thing before we start, and that is when I first hook up this display to my Dell XPS 15, on a HDMI port, everything looks perfect like this. However, when I hooked this up using a USB Type-C, there were some anomaly that happens where the picture gets squished in the middle and there are black bars on the top and the bottom. If you run into that issue when you're trying to use USB Type-C or any other connection for that matter, this would be the way how you can solve that problem. Simply right click on the desktop, display setting. You want to choose the BenQ display. You can identify it fairly easily because this is a widescreen. However, if you really want to know, click on identify and it will pop up a number on the display and tell you which one to choose. I'll highlight number two there and scroll all the way to the bottom. We're going to click on Advanced Display Setting. In this screen right now, we can see that my BenQ display is running at 59.973 Hz. From that list, the only two that will work and would attain the normal aspect ratio like this is the 59.973 and the 59.913. For instance, when I plug this USB Type-C in the beginning, the default refresh rate for this was 29.97 and this is what it looks like. You can see in a moment there, there, there are black bars on the top and the bottom and everything is pretty much squished. I'm going to keep the changes for now. This is pretty much the same thing for all the other refresh rates. So the only one that tends to work so far in my testing is the one that ends in a 3. So I'm going to set this back to the 59.973. Keep it and you can see that the resolution and the aspect ratio is correct right now. All right, I'm going to leave this screen open like this for the time being. And what I'm going to do now is set this into a picture by picture 5 to 9 aspect ratio. So we're going to go into the display menu. We're going to cl click on the setting or the hamburger menu there, the three horizontal bars. Go into input. And right now we're in single input mode using a USB Type-C. We're going to change that into the P by P or PBP 5 to 9. That stands for picture by picture 5 to 9. I'll enable that. And now we have a more traditional aspect ratio. So on the left there, we have a 16 to 9. And on the right here, we have a 5 to 9. There is one menu out here that is called swap at the bottom there. What this will do is swap the input source. However, the 16 to 9 will always remain on the left and the 5 to 9 will always remain on the right. That only swaps the input source. It doesn't swap the orientation of these um, split screen mode on the display. 
Let's go back into this menu right now. So on the left one, I have a USB Type-C, which is what you're seeing on the screen there. It may not be showing the correct resolution yet because everything is still somewhat squished right now. And on the right side, pretty much this is set to HDMI 1, which I don't have anything plugged in yet. So what I'm going to do is run this first from a single PC computer. This can be a laptop, desktop, it doesn't matter. But if you want to run it in a split screen mode this way, you have to use two display cables to run it. There may be some reason why you want to do this, Personally, I would probably use this mode with a two computer configuration. Maybe one of them would be a PC. The other one would be a Mac or something like that. But you do have that flexibility. So what I'm going to do now is plug in the HDMI. And because the left side of it is set to USB type C, it's going to show up. And this one is going to show as an HDMI. You can see that the resolution for these displays are really squished right now. They're not showing anything properly at all. So what we have to do is really go in and change. And you can see right now that on my computer, is recognizing the display a little bit differently. So what I'm going to do is click on identify again to really figure out which one's which. So obviously what we can see right now too is that it's putting the number two display, which is the one that we really technically want it next to it, um, not in the right orientation. So what I'm going to do is drag number three over here, rearrange it. So now I'll apply that and click on identify again. So now I have one, two, and three. You can arrange this in any type of configuration you want. My recommendation is to do it sequentially. This way you don't get confused by the screen. The other thing too is that the computer will recognize the display based on the initial handshake. So right now it's recognizing that two of these display that you're seeing here, the split screen mode, is running in a 21 to 9 aspect ratio, but that's not really the case. So we're going to go and change that. So we're going to highlight the display that we want to change the resolution to, the number two one which is the 16 to 9 portion is the one I want to start out first. So I'll highlight number two, scroll down a little bit, and we're going to set the display resolution in that main screen there. This is going to be 2560 by 1440. So I'll do that. I'll click on keep changes. Let's see if that works properly. So the problem right now is that when I change this to the proper resolution, it's now showing with black bars on both sides. Guess what? We have to go into advanced display setting again and figure out what's really going on there. So display two, BenQ, PD3420Q. Ah, this is where the refresh rate changed. Let's see if we set this to 60, will that solve the problem? Keep changes. That's pretty much the way how you're going to have to do that. So what I mentioned earlier about the refresh rate will also affect the way how this display is showing up in the 2K resolution as well. So you have to change this into a 60 hertz one in order for it to fit the screen dimension properly on the 2K one as a 16 to 9 aspect ratio. Now let's try this one on the 5 to 9, shall we? So I'll go back again to the main display setting screen. I'll highlight number three, scroll down, change the display resolution to 880 by 1440. Again, this is running on HDMI and it's not really showing up properly at all. It's really showing up with that slim slit right there. I'll keep on, I'll say keep changes for the time being so that it will keep that there. And again, what we have to do is go down into advanced display setting. And this all has to do with the refresh rate. So I'm going to change this one now to a 60 Hertz as well. We'll say keep changes. And now what we can see there is we have three different screens running on its native resolution and it fits with the screen perfectly. So you can see there from the different wallpaper tiles that is showing up on the display right now. If I launch a website, what I can simply do is drag this across all the screens and it will work just fine. For instance, I can drag it to here. It's, there are some display scaling changes because this laptop is a 4K resolution. And you can see that I can just simply drag this across between multiple different desktop. That's perfectly fine. Just remember though, this is USB Type-C, this is HDMI. Again, this is when you're running it on a singular computer using two display cables. If you run this on two different computers, obviously you can't drag it across this way, but this can show you another environment in general. One of the things that you may want to do, for instance, if you're doing coding, if you're doing a lot of testing between different platforms, you can have the window screen extended here. So you can have a standard uh, 16 to 9 aspect ratio, while this one, you can have a Macintosh hookup in the 5 to 9, so you can quickly preview the way how your picture is going to look, the way how your video colors are going to look. There are multiple different uses to this, but you can really go in there and really have fun and be creative with this. I hope that you find this guide on how to run the PD3420Q on a PC in a 5 to 9 split screen mode helpful. Leave any questions in the comment section below, give this video a like, subscribe if you're new, hit on the bell to be notified every time I upload cool new contents like this. And until next time,
artist right 